What up guys, it's Matt Tam. In today's video, we're gonna be doing the carnivore diet. I'm gonna be doing a full day of eating carnivore diet. I'm gonna be doing breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We're gonna do a grocery haul at Whole Foods. Then we're gonna go to Bulldog as well. I'm gonna show you guys the supplements you can take on the carnivore diet, as well as we're gonna get a workout in. I'm gonna be showing you guys a push-up workout at Fitting Room. Let's get to it. So for breakfast, our first meal is gonna be egg with bacon. But with the carnivore diet, because you're only getting protein, you need to keep your fats as high as possible. This is gonna give you the energy. You're getting no carbs in this diet, so where you're gonna get your energy from is from the fat. This is the bacon. I'm also gonna look for sausage. The number one thing is, you gotta look at the ingredients, because some of the ingredients can have like sugar. There should only be pork, water, and sea salt. Yeah. Just got back from Whole Foods. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So we got the bacon, organic eggs, and then for our next meal, I got grass-fed lean ground beef. The reason why I got lean ground beef over extra lean is when you're following the carnivore diet, you do need more fats. So I just got lean ground beef. This is 80-20, and you can even add your own fats. You can add butter or something like that. I'm gonna pair it with beef smokies. These are beef sausages, organic again, no sugar, no gluten. Now for the carnivore diet, generally sometimes they usually say no processed food or you wanna limit processed food. So with this, I again look for zero sugar. So the most important part is having no sugar in the diet. Total is 24.27. Gotta get in my omega-3s. So the first meal we're cooking today is bacon and eggs. This is a carnivore stable. The carnivore diet is essentially a really restrictive diet where it's just meat. So pretty much you're allowed full food sources like any type of fatty beef. So usually ribeye steak, grass-fed beef. You can do lean or extra lean. You can also do pork as well. There's chicken that you can eat too, obviously eggs. And then you can even do dairy as well. When you're having dairy in a carnivore diet, you wanna make sure the lactose is quite low, low sugar dairy. So pretty much what that consists of would be butter and uh, cheese. We're gonna get started on the first meal, which is four whole eggs and three strips of bacon. Go to the farm. Obviously salt is allowed, so I'm using pink and lame sea salt and some pepper. Do you like your bacon crispy or like just regular? I like the crispy. Yeah, so if you notice with every meal in a carnivore diet, it's gonna be higher in fat just because, of course, you're not getting any carbs. So this is gonna give you the energy to like get, get on with your day and stuff like that. Some of the benefits of the carnivore diet is weight loss. Also, it helps with mood. People say that it helps with joint pain, depression. Yeah, a lot of people rave about the carnivore diet. So that wraps up the first meal. Now we're gonna do a Q&A. I'm gonna answer two of the questions that you guys asked on Instagram. The first question that I got on Instagram is from Jimmy A707. How long did it take for you to start seeing major results? So in terms of working out, I saw the majority of my results, not even in the first year, I would say like the first six months is when I saw like the most results. Just cause you're being introduced to new stimuli, you've never trained before. So your body's just soaking up everything and it just responds to everything. Especially when you're getting in enough protein, enough carbs, and you're really fueling your body and you're training consistently, your strength is gonna skyrocket. So I would say the first year is when you see the majority of your results. And then after that, it would kind of slow down after the next like three to four years. You will still make gains, but it's gonna be a lot harder. So the number one thing is obviously consistency and being consistent with your diet and your training. The second question is from AI James. He asked, is it okay to do push-ups every day? So with push-ups, when I first started training, I actually trained at home just cause I didn't have any equipment. I just wanted to stay fit. It was summer, so I I bought a pull-up bar, I started doing pull-ups and I did push-ups every day and I actually got in really good shape. Now there's a lot of like body weight exercise you can do with push-ups. If you're doing push-ups, you have to remember that it's gonna target your whole upper body. It targets your chest, not just your chest, but your triceps, your shoulders. So it's such a key exercise to do, especially if you don't have any equipment. So I would definitely recommend doing push-ups every day if you're just starting out. So now we're cooking meal number two. This is grass-fed uh, ground beef. This is 80-20. Now with grass-fed, you can get obviously grain-fed, but for the carnivore diet specifically, you want to get grass-fed. Grass-fed actually has a lot more nutrients, and because you're doing the carnivore diet, you want to get as much nutrients as possible. It actually has higher vitamins and CLA in it, so it's a little bit healthier. And grass-fed, I didn't know, it's actually slightly lower in fat than grain-fed. So we got the beef sausages going here as well. Yo, Gordon Ramsay in the house. I feel like I could eat the carnivore diet every day just because I love beef. It's like one of my favorite foods. But in terms of bodybuilding, yeah, you need carbs. Like if you want to build muscle, you need carbs to grow. So now I'm starting my second meal. My second meal is six ounce raw weight, grass-fed lean ground beef. And we got these beef sausages right here. 
Let's try the beef sausage. Yo, this is bomb. So the carnivore diet was actually made famous by Dr. Sean Baker. He's been following the carnivore diet for a long time, but there's a lot of famous celebrities that have tried it too, like obviously Joe Rogan. So Joe Rogan said he lost 12 pounds in 30 days from doing the carnivore diet. He also saw better energy as well as he got way leaner. The only thing is he had explosive diarrhea. You guys, I swear I could eat this every day. So that wraps up meal number two. That was actually super bomb. Quick tip, if you're gonna get sausages, don't get pork, get beef. Beef actually tastes amazing. Beef is my favorite food. So now we're gonna go to Bulldog and I'm gonna show you guys some of the supplements that you guys can take while you're on the carnivore diet. Now, while you're on the carnivore diet, if you're following a really strict version of this, sometimes they say not to take supplements, but I'm just gonna show you guys what you can take if you're following carnivore diet. First off is protein. Now, this is the beef protein. This is beef bone broth and hydrolyzed grass-fed beef collagen. So if you have trouble getting in your protein, you can always supplement with something like this. If you're looking for the most cleanest beef protein you can find on the market, definitely the Supreme Beef Protein. Now, next off I'm gonna show you guys is the collagen. Now, collagen has a lot of benefits in terms of joint health, bone health, and skin, hair, and nails. Now, collagen, you wanna pick one that's also grass-fed, pasture-raised. So this is a very, very high quality collagen as well. Next off will be the vitamins. Now when you're following a carnivore diet, it's essential to get in your vitamins because you may be lacking stuff like vitamin C. So you can always supplement with vitamin C. I always recommend taking a thousand milligrams of vitamin C. You can also supplement with omegas. So we have omega-3s. This is coming from fish oil. That is something that you can take on the carnivore diet as well. And as well as your magnesium. Now, sometimes you can be magnesium deficient when you're on a carnivore diet. So this is also a great supplement to take. Lastly, you can always take a multivitamin. Multivitamin can be super essential, especially when you're missing all the nutrients on a carnivore diet. So that wraps up the supplements that you can take on a carnivore diet. Now we're gonna hit up Moxie's and grab some steak. So we just got to Moxie's. I ordered the 10 ounce New York strip loin. I ordered it medium rare. Now, number one thing you gotta do is ask for no oil, just because a lot of times you use olive oil, I think. So it's easier that way if you're following the carnivore diet. Let's see if that's medium rare. Yo, it's gonna be easy done. Last bite of the steak. Yeah, I ate it like a true carnivore. Okay, so we just finished the last meal. We're gonna head over to fitting room. So we just got to fitting room. I'm gonna be showing you three push-up variations that you can do either at home or at the gym. Let's get to it. So the first exercise I'm gonna be showing you is the archer push-up. Now this is a great exercise just because it targets each chest one at a time and it isolates. Now what you wanna do is you wanna do for four sets, 12 reps. How I like to start off is I like to place my hands slightly shoulder width apart, coming down on one side with control and then coming up and back on the other side. just because it really targets your triceps. What you want to do is you want to do this again for four sets of 12 reps. With this movement, instead of doing the regular push-up movement, you want to keep your hands close together, four arms down on the ground, like that, and pushing up. And that's going to put all the emphasis right on the triceps. Perfect. increasing your explosive strength, as well as endurance. Now it's definitely the hardest, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Remember, you guys wanna do this for four sets, again, 12 reps. So it's exactly like the regular push-up, except when you're coming down, you're gonna clap just like that. So that wraps up a full day of eating carnivore, plus push-up variations. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe.